Hi, I'm Mike Ferrante with Century 21 Homestar and the 21 Mike team. Welcome to my vegan kitchen. So today we're gonna make my fake ground beef. So let's take a look. All right, so this is a staple in our house. We keep this in the refrigerator almost all the time. What we do is we take tofu, uh, try to get the firm or the extra firm, and then what you do is you freeze this. I've already done that. Uh, I buy my tofu by the case and I'll throw it in the freezer and then when I wanna make some ground beef or some other dishes, I will thaw it out and then drain off all the water. And the idea is that you wanna squeeze it out like a sponge. And when you're done with it, you just crumble it up into the pan here like this. So now that we've got most of the liquid out of the tofu, we're gonna to add some more flavorful liquid back in. So that's maybe a tablespoon of sesame oil. Uh, hopefully you all can read that. Just kidding. To make it fry up a little nicer, I will add a little bit of olive oil as well. Again, no more than a tablespoon. Put some soy sauce in it. Gives it a real nice rich flavor. So that was about two tablespoons of soy sauce. And then I'll cook it on medium or medium high. And this is when I start seasoning. Um, I'll use a couple seasonings of usually garlic for sure. I do some fresh onion, but I also put some onion powder in. We're gonna season this with some Italian seasoning. So this is just some Italian herbs, a mixture of basil, oregano. So this is turmeric. Not only is it good for you, but it's gonna start giving it some nice color. And of course, well, let's see. Ah, it's paprika. I'm just the happiest spice in the whole world. First person who uh, messages me here and tells me what movie that's from, I'll send you a Starbucks gift card. So basically we just kind of toss this in the pan. So here's liquid smoke. Just put a few drops in it. I like to use a little more, so I'll probably use about almost a tablespoon. All right, so we've been cooking this for about 10 minutes now, and this is about the time when I add any onions or mushrooms. All right, so we're wrapping it up here, and you can see it's cooked down to about two thirds of its original volume. It's a little bit crunchy, but still kind of got its soft texture on the inside. We'll put this in the refrigerator and it's ready to go.